So in today's experiment, uh, I've got a plasma tweeter here that I built about uh, 2007. Uh, it's, it's running at a 13 and a half, uh, 13.56 megahertz oscillation frequency, uh, which creates this high voltage discharge on the top here. This is, it actually looks just like a candle flame, but it is a corona discharge on a tungsten electrode. And that is over an inch tall there. That's a huge flame. Behind that, there's a five inch woofer. Uh, and these are inside of a, a probably a six foot tall uh, lengthened enclosure with a, with a uh, an opening in the bottom and some sound dampening material inside. It's a Voigt pipe. Uh, this is a ribbon tweeter here, but right now it's disconnected, so that's not in use. And uh, uh, what I've got here is a uh, condenser microphone that we're using off axis to collect the sound from the tweeter and also from the woofer. Uh, the signal for the woofer comes through uh, an amp on the bottom and, a, and just a CD player um, recording the uh, uh, the mic uh, through a mixer here and uh, into a laptop to capture the sound signals uh, in parallel with this camera since this camera probably doesn't have very good uh, sound. So uh, what we're going to try to do here, we've got this nice white flame uh, it's kind of, it's hard to tell here, but it's a little bit purplish at the bottom and a little bit yellowish at the top. And it's kind of a white, slight lavender maybe in the middle there. It's, uh, but it is uh, quite large. If you put your hand over the top of the cage here, you can feel quite a bit of heat coming off. It's probably uh, about 100 watts of power. And we're going to put different gases into this plasma corona discharge and see if it affects the sound or color or shape of the, uh, the discharge. Alright, so this is a balloon of helium, and I've got it attached here to a little pipette with a very small opening in the bottom. And what I'm going to do with this pipette is, I'm going to stick it right inside the plasma cage here, and release a little bit of the helium into the flame. And not only do we get to see what happens to it, but we're also going to hear what happens uh, to the flame, uh, to the sound in that case. Okay, I have the helium balloon here, and I'm going to stick the helium. I'm going to be sticking the helium right into the flame here. And let's see what happens. See that? It turns purple. When I pinch the, the helium off, uh, it turns back to white, which is the natural color of the flame. And there's helium again. Pretty cool. Now I've got the xenon balloon here. We're going to flood some xenon right in here. So here is the flame in its natural state, sort of white yellow color. Let's see if xenon does anything. Here's a balloon with CO2 in it, and we made it by reacting vinegar and baking soda. Here's some carbon dioxide we made. Let's see what that does to the plasma flame. So far 
this is just the air, natural air. And here comes carbon dioxide. Wow, that's interesting. Kind of fizzles. Okay, there's no carbon dioxide. Okay, today we've got a balloon full of high purity neon and we're going to try to inject that into the uh, plasma flame here and see what we get. Okay, here comes neon gas. Right now it's air and here's neon. You can see at the base of the electrode it's starting to glow orange or pinkish. And this is air. 